Hey guys, this is going to be a love and guidance reading, reading for mid-month, December 15th through the 31st. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to those of you who do celebrate the holidays. I hope all is well. Shopping is going off without a hitch. And um, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Whatever comes up. It is what it is, okay? It is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. If you need a personal reading, you can either visit the website, which I suggest. There's a selection there. Or if you're having complications with that, then uh, go ahead and email me, and we'll see if we can get it straightened out, okay? If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. All right, guys, here we go. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for my Virgos? This will be a Celtic cross spread. Virgo. All right, Virgo. It's raining here, it's gloomy outside. Ooh. Overall energy for your reading is the Emperor. Feeling very strong and secure in yourself. Um, you know, not budging from, from your position. Thinking that, you know, the stance that you're taking currently is the right stance. And, and you're feeling really good about that, I feel. Okay. Ten of Wands. That's where you are. Your challenge is the Hierophant. Your past position is the High Priestess. Your foundation currently is the Strength. Who was crowning you is a Five of Pentacles. Hmm. The near future, we have the Hanged Man. Let's see how you see yourself. The Seven of Cups. In the environment, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Fool for your hopes and fears. And then the potential outcome is the Nine of Swords. What's that for? Let's go ahead and take a look. All right. Here you are with the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is not something that tens are ending. So, of course, this is laying down the burden. But I think the question is, have you? Or is this something that you need to do? is lay down whatever it is that's been bothering you, that's been nagging at you. I feel like that is that is the question here. So let's take a further look into this thing, okay? Your challenge is the Hierophant. Um, this is calling for you to have faith in yourself, okay? Now, remember that the emperor was what was, you know, the, the total energy of the reading. Um, feeling secure and powerful um, in your inner knowing, in who you are and what you decide to do, okay? This is a need for you to have faith and trust your intuition, trust your heart, because this is what's in your past position, okay? You were unclear about things. Right now, there's a need for you to have faith in yourself and trust yourself that what you are thinking, what you are feeling is legit, all right? Your foundation is strength. So I feel, I feel you um, trying to do just that, okay? There was something really heavy um, sitting on your shoulders, I feel like in the past. And right now, 
you are standing you're standing firm in that you're going to get over this feeling of feeling left out in the cold by somebody by somebody because i think you're struggling with the fact that whether or not you know you did something wrong or you really were the reason why you were feeling left out in the cold or was it somebody else or was it a shared responsibility here okay but this is this is in your near future so i think you're struggling with the blame factor is what i'm getting here whether or not you were truly had a hand in you know a situation going off to the left you're struggling with that okay um there is always a need to take responsibility for our actions so just remember that because i don't want you to get i don't want you to get involved with somebody because i feel like i feel like that this really involves somebody else from your past because here we have and i jump around sometimes here we have in your hopes and fears um taking a leap of faith and i feel like you're taking a leap of faith to try to reconcile here you want to take a leap of faith because you feel something strongly um for somebody you feel like it's worth it but at the same time you're struggling with the blame factor i feel like strongly here okay you feel confused here this is how you feel about yourself this is how you see yourself you feel confused here um almost like you don't know if this person the way they're presenting themselves is it real you know, is it legit? Is it is it strong? Are you going to make it? Is it going to go back to the way it was before? You know, are you going to be able to, you know, hold your own? Or are you going to be able to, you know, match this person or them match you? It's like a lot of confusion um, going on around whether or not, you know, this this is going to be beneficial for you, this situation itself. Feel that strongly um you're dealing with somebody that is very secure in themselves or this could be you okay they could feel this way about you but this is somebody that's very secure in themselves um they have a level of confidence that i almost feel like is intimidating okay whether you're the one that's intimidated by this person or this person is a tiny bit intimidated by you okay because it can go vice versa but this is also somebody that even though they are secure with themselves they still they still are lacking something they're lacking something meaning that that just means that how they're coming off is is not truly how they feel inside it's like this is a projection not saying that they're hiding anything but i think sometimes people you know on the outside may think that everything's honky dory or this person has it going on but inside they really don't feel that way that's the way i feel here okay because here um in the nine of swords we have a nine of swords and a potential outcome this is somebody just feeling um they're imagining the worst this is a card that is imagining the worst okay it's not real this is not real so you know in your heart what it is that you need to do what you want to do what you feel is good for you please don't let yourself get caught up in thinking about things that are not even true or are nowhere near 
to the extent that you think, okay? Um, for instance, if you feel like somebody is talking about you, they're probably not. If you feel like somebody doesn't like you, that's probably not true, okay? So please don't let yourself get caught up in this knot of swords, okay? You're doing a lot of, you know, a lot of things aren't clear to you and you're trying to figure it out. You feel, you feel strongly about something here and it's nudging you, but at the same time, you get caught up in your head, so... You get caught up in your head, so so kind of take an inventory of you know the things that have really happened, not things that you think may be going on, and um, you know this is this is time to be enlightened. Let yourself be enlightened, okay? Don't fight it, don't fight it here, okay? Be strong enough to know that you know. This five of pentacles, this is a temporary state. All right. So Virgos, that's what I have for you um, as far as love and guidance for mid-month. Again, you guys have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Love you guys.